the log point, the majority of times you're alerted to something when a case gets generated is by an incident, by an alert, or by something that happened in the dashboard, or something the way you go in and you search for something, and you can actually generate an incident right from that. I'll show that in, in a few steps coming up. So right away, I'd like to jump right inside our incidents. It is relevant. I've touched on this before. Let's search for malware. So I have a, we have an incident right on top here. The color is purple. It's a high-level risk. You can see here I've got malware detected in an email. So right away within this, I can actually come in here and I can... I can literally work on this incident. It's very similar to a case. I'm working on this incident. I can resolve it. I can say sorted out and then I can resolve this, right? And then, oh, let me make sure I've got my spelling correctly, sorted out and this is resolved and then I can post it. So now this has been resolved. I've had a look at this. This is now, this is now done. We can generate a report at the end of the day of all the incidents and all the statuses, who it was assigned to, who picked it up. But straight into this is also very important to understand a case. So let's go and have a look here. We're looking at all the cases. We have quite a few cases in our system. So I'm going to, in my search, I'm going to search for malware. And let's go and find. And I've got malware detected. It has been remediated. It, has, it had a severity of 70. It took four minutes for this case to go through its processes. Let's go and analyze it. So it had a trigger. The trigger took place. The trigger was an event that happened where either we detected this alert triggers when possible malicious attachment is present in email. So Logpoint saw a trigger. We then passed that off to our engine, which said Mimecast has found a total of five emails with a suspicious attachment. So if they sent to, you know, the sender is HR and who it's going to. We then scroll down. I can see, see who all the respective people were. And scrolling out through the entire case, I can see all the steps that happened. I'm going to show this to you in a little more detail later on. But now I can see that, oh, okay, so it was handled. A report was sent to the CISO. Endpoints were isolated from the network. So log points, they to communicate with an EDR system like a CrowdStrike, a Falcon, or uh, like a Carbon Black. We can go, we can isolate endpoints straight off the network, we can, we can deal with all that, and then critically you have, we have to generate a report back. So now I'm happy that this is done. I'm going to say um, resolved is my label, and I'm saying um, looked into, um, look, looked into, we'll just say looked into, that's fine. Now I'm going to go ahead and save that. Now you'll see at the bottom it says label resolved. So you'll see that there are various tags within this case. Case change, label, um, a case change, case change, and then a label. So we can run reports on all of these to see where our users are getting inside, where they're understanding, where they're dealing with these cases. Once I have this case, it is currently closed. You can see that I can reopen it. I may want to reopen it for additional analysis. And I can also change if this case is either malicious, if it's benign, look at any history associated with that. I have a level of severity that I can associate with this too. So I can really control how these cases are dealt with and managed within Logpoint, giving the security analyst complete control over the various stages of that.